Awesome. So, uh, my name's Lauren. I'm, uh, I think I know most everybody in the room, but I'm a singer-songwriter out of Barberton. If you don't know where that is, that's uh, just outside of Akron. And uh, I'm going to do a few songs here by myself, and then I'm going to bring up my, my dear friend over here at the far end of the bar. His name's Corey. Everybody say, hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. <laughs> because I love you. That's my adopted son. He's like the best ever. Um, but yeah, he's going to come up and do some songs with me. It's our first time playing um, playing by ourselves together. We haven't played together in over a year, so I'm really, really excited and really thankful that I get to play with him, and I'm thankful that I get to be here tonight. I, um, when we, we booked the show with Super Culture, I, uh, and heard it was in the tavern, I was kind of, I guess, uh, I don't know the word for it, but the first time I was here, I saw John Moreland, and if you don't know who he is, he's an amazing singer-songwriter. He writes just the most beautiful music, and it's very, very soulful and honest. And uh, I saw him standing up here, and uh, to think about playing in the same room that he's played in, it's very, um, I feel very honored, and I'm thankful to the Beachland to have me tonight and for having all of us. So as I said, I'm a songwriter, but I'm also a storyteller, so I like to talk between songs and talk about what the songs are about. Um, this first song is a song called I Don't Love the Way You Hate Yourself. And I wrote it about some friends who were being really hard on themselves one day, and it all just kind of lined up very weird. Like one person was being hard on themselves, and I turned around and had another conversation at a different place, and they were being hard on themselves. And lastly, my, my now drummer, was messaging me and he was just being being ridiculously hard on himself. And at that point I was like, no, stop it. I don't love that. Like I love everything about you, but I don't love that. And uh, it ended up coming into a song. <laughs> 